Off the top at 6 o'clock, a horse and buggy crash that killed two Amish children and seriously injured their sister this week is raising new questions about buggy safety in Michigan. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker attended services for the children in Wexford County and spoke to a leader of that area's Amish community. The three children were headed to school about a half mile from here with the 11 year old holding the reins when the pony apparently bolted into this intersection. A wagon carrying two small caskets covered in tarp rounded the corner, leading a funeral procession just outside Manton, a small town north of Cadillac. A line of Amish buggies stretched behind the caskets for at least half a mile, slowly cresting a hill before crossing the intersection where the children had died just three days earlier. It's a difficult time. The pastor of the Manton Amish church spoke to us on camera about the dangers they face on the roads. For religious reasons, he asked that we not show his face or the faces of others in the community. We are always mindful that we, sh that we share the road with automobiles as we drive our horse and buggies up and down the road. We appreciate very much the, our friends that are driving automobiles, their carefulness, and uh, likewise, we would do this, like to do the same. Sheriff deputies say the buggy, a two-wheeled open-air cart, pulled into the path of a car driven by a man who lived nearby. The pastor said they believe the pony lurched into the intersection. Was spooked or something? Was spooked or something, possibly. Mm -hmm. The crash killed 11-year-old Rachel Miller, who was driving the rig, and her 7-year-old brother Samuel. Their 9-year-old sister Hannah is recovering at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital in Grand Rapids. It is very difficult for the parents in the loss of these two children, and yet I believe they feel God's love as they walk through this. In the last decade, state police figures show that Amish buggies have been involved in more than 300 crashes across the state killing 21 members of the community. That includes at least 10 children, three of them in Eaton County back in 2019. The driver of the car said he did not see the buggy until it was too late. That led some Michigan lawmakers to propose buggy safety measures, including requiring front lights and taillights, but they failed to get support. It appeared that most, if not all, of the buggies at Thursday's funeral were equipped with at least taillights. That's our goal, to take safety precautions as we go on the road with lights, well-lighted, and also these children had safety vests on when they were hit. State Representative Kurt Vanderwall, who proposed the buggy legislation, says Monday's crash could renew that safety push, though it's too early to say whether age limits for buggy drivers could be part of that. Ultimately, safety on our roads is the most important thing, and I, I believe that uh, this was an issue that we addressed four years ago. It failed, and I think it's time that we, we look at it again. The Amish pastor says it's not unusual for middle school-aged children to drive rigs to school. This was the first term that this family's children were, were taking, driving themselves to school. They had two miles to the little country school, and they were within a half a mile to the, to the schoolhouse when this happened. And not too far from home. And not too far from home. Michigan has one of the fastest growing Amish populations in the country, with an estimated 16,000 in the state. About 240 of them are scattered through the Manton area. People around here in Manton and the surrounding area do know, you know, that this is, there's a lot of Amish people here and, you know, we take vigilance and watching out for them and, and people just need to watch the signs on the roads that have the horse and buggy. Horses are unpredictable, you know, they spook at anything, they can bolt at any time, so we just as, you know, we just need to pay attention more. On Wednesday, the driver of the car showed up for visitation. We'd been at his house and spoke with him and just assured him that the family and no one in the community holds any grudges to him. We understand he, he was not at fault, and, but it's very difficult for him. Yesterday, as many as 600 people, mostly Amish, gathered for the funeral at the children's home. Some came by chartered bus and vans from as far away as southern Ohio. It's overwhelming, the outreach of the, the community at large through this difficult time. This was not in our plans when this happened Monday morning, but it was in God's plans. Later, many gathered on a small hill under pine trees to bury the children. They left behind two markers, the children's names handwritten 
on planks of cedar. Samuel died on his seventh birthday. After the accident, I have heard someone make the comment that, that Samuel probably got his best birthday gift ever, which is eternal life, heaven. The crash remains under investigation by the Wexford County Sheriff's Department. Near Madden, I'm targeting investigator Ken Colker.